But first, it was a heartbreaking return for students today at Chesney High School. Today, a pastor at the school confirming three students died in a car crash on Friday. The driver, the only survivor. Yeah, and tonight, the school will play its football game that was postponed in response to this whole news on Friday. Of Fox Carolina's Anna Arinder joins us live there from Chesney High with how they plan to honor these students lost. Well, Tori, Dana, the community here in Chesney is absolutely broken. As we said, I'm here at the football field where that game will be held tonight, and they're going to have a moment of silence before the game honoring those three students who were tragically killed Friday night. Football players are actually going to be wearing these stickers on their helmets that say Chesney Strong, which is the new motto here. Now, before kickoff, the district says that the opposing team, Landrum High School, is standing in solidarity tonight with this community. They're student body president is presenting a banner to Chesney at the center of the field following the moment of silence a student led prayer and some words from the administration on Saturday night students teachers faculty members in the community held a vigil for the three victims around 3 30 Friday night or Friday afternoon rather the Spartanburg Co County coroner responded to a fiery accident that killed three people and badly injured another troopers tell us that the four were driving on Fairfield Road near Henderson Road when they swerved off and hit a ditch and several trees due to the severity of this injury the coroner has not yet been able to identify the victims today counselors and pastors were on campus comforting students and coming to lay flowers at the flagpole, which now flies at half mass. Pastor Gary Gorgon says that the devastation is widespread here. The community is in shock and it will take a long time before healing can begin. Community, uh, I believe I see them uh, coming together, uh, trying to trying to process what's going on uh, and the effect on these families uh, to, to think that three families have lost their children, that this uh, small school has lost three of its students, uh, that some of our teachers have lost uh, a student in their classrooms. Our administration has lost uh, three students. Our heart breaks for these families. Uh, our heart uh, is concerned for our community, and we're doing everything we can to, uh, to, to push forth our, our motto, which now is Chesney Strong. And again, Chesney Strong, that phrase that you're going to be seeing around school, it's already on the sign outside of the school. And again, football players wearing the stickers on their helmets tonight in honor of those students. Now, I'm told as part of the healing process as well, that teachers were actually giving out paper and pens to students to write letters to the families of the victims as part of, again, this healing process, t sharing memories, telling them how much they loved and cared about their children. Live in Chesney, Anna Arinder, Fox Carolina News.